You always say myself, Big Z, you already know what it is. I'm always thirsty for more. That's why I've linked up with Twisted and Pepsi Max to give you football-loving food fans the marquee signing you've been waiting for. Match winning pizza. I'm in a city infamously known for having noisy neighbors. Yes, you guessed it, I'm in Manchester and I'm here to put my pizza making skills to the test. Let's get it. I'm going head to head with some serious pizzaiolos to find out what flavors are better with Pepsi Max. How you doing, my friend? Hi, Big Zoo. I'm Phil. Good to um, meet you. Head Phil. chef, Crazy Pedro's. Are you angry, head chef? No, no, not anymore. <laughs> Tell me a bit about this place, man. So we serve 16 inch pizzas till 4 a.m. And we yeah. also serve slices as well. I've also been told that this place gets lively before kickoff. It does, yeah. Match days, midweek, weekends. We get a, a lot of business before. Yeah. Depends on the results. Well, last year must have been last great. Last year, yeah, we've been booming. <laughs> <laughs> what is the fan favorite when people come in? The most popular pizza I find is the Mac Daddy. Let me see it. Let me get uh, one Mac Daddy. The first stage is our pizza sauce, uh -huh. which we make in house. A grated mozzarella. Uh, you look like you've done this before. I've done this many a time. How many pizzas do you think you made in your lifetime? Thousands. That's a lot of pizza. Mini beef burgers. <laughs> right, this is jokes. So why do you guys make pizzas like this? These crazy pizzas? Is it just part of the ethos of the place? The toppings which people aren't using because they feel like it doesn't go on a pizza. Where I think anything works on a mm. pizza. So you said I'm gonna make little slider burgers. And then I finish off with a smoky oh, jack cheese. Oh my babies. And then we garnish at the end with the lettuce, gherkins and our homemade sauce. Okay, I'm a bit worried. It's looking, this is looking real good. I don't know if I can level this. I don't think you will, to be honest. Ha <laughs> ha, it was a joke. <laughs> Before you pull it in, just wait for me, please. Have a bit of patience. I've been thinking about what I'm gonna make to go against the Mac Daddy. We're up north, we're in Manchester. I'm thinking chippy tea. Everybody loves a chippy tea. So what I'm gonna do is combine a chippy tea, Manchester pizza into one. There's a good chippy at the end of the road. Come on, man, I, I, I trust you. Phil, you're go a good on. guy. See you in See a bit. You soon. See you in a bit. We headed out in search of ingredients for my match winning pizza. I mean, how could I come to Manchester and not mix in with the locals? My guy, Big Phil, told me to visit a traditional Hello? chippy, and that's what I did. I'm looking for ingredients to put on a pizza that represents Manchester. So I'm thinking a couple scraps, mushy peas, large chips. Can you imagine all of that on, on a pizza? Um... <laughs> <laughs> if it's everything, yeah? Yeah. It's been a pleasure. And next time, I'll get some fish. Yeah. Still out. <laughs> I don't know about Tiki Taco and all that, but this right here is my secret weapon. If my pizza is going to pair perfectly with Pepsi Max, then this has to be the first name on the team sheet. I'm back. No one cares? OK. Got my chippy tea ingredients yeah. sorted. But before we get cooking, I've got to ask. Two massive clubs. Yeah. Football is just part of the culture here. It's just massive. embedded into Manchester. Manchester, football, music, food. Mm. I feel like I should move here. Your reign as head chef must come to an end because I'm stepping in. I've got my little stoves. So I'm about to make a curry sauce from scratch. Some would say I'm an award-winning chef. Some would say you're lying. OK, we've got a bar going in. How long have you been cooking for? Like 20 years. Damn! Yeah. OK, let's not talk about experience. You've got more than me. Some onions going in now, yeah. some garlic going in, and then we've got some cute apples. Yeah. I always feel like when you're in a kitchen, you have to speak French. Oui, oui, chef. Oui, chef. Allez. Simple. I respect my culinary excellence, right? You're doing all right, you're super. Oh, come on, don't pity me. I know I'm a big boy chef. This is high level sauteing. All right, these are cooked down. Now I need to add some seasoning. So I've got some salt, some curry powder, some turmeric, and chili powder. Oh, you can feel it as soon as it hits the pan. Mm. Seasonings are locked in now. I'm going to hit it with some flour. It looks like a roux. Thank you. Come on, Alfie. You know when you make a roux and they start, yeah, start developing the stock and all these things, I'll start feeling more chefy. Nice cook down, veg stock. Yeah. Cut straight in. I know, deglaze the pan, all that good stuff. Got some honey going in for the sweetness. Are you getting worried now? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Then, to give it that chippy tea vibe, we go with some malt vinegar, biao, and then we hit it with a squeeze of lemon. Let this simmer down. Once it gets nice and thick, give it a little bit of a blitz. There's only one thing left for us to do. Let's go, get in there. It's really good. Thank you. Well, that's got spice, are they? Come on, T! <laughs> that's a <laughs> spicy little spice. curry little yo. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You did help me with the dough. Yeah. But that, from this point onwards, on your own. it is a big zoo mission. All right, so I'm gonna kick it off with some mushy peas. All right. It looks so random, but I know it's gonna work. Now, what goes with mushy peas? Bobby chips. That's why you're my guy, bro. Now, what's next? Cheese. So I got a blend of cheddar and mozzarella. Look at this. I might have created something here. 
Yeah, if you want to put it on the menu, by all means, then. So Phil, don't gas me. <laughs> right, bam. Obviously, when this comes out, hit it with our scraps, hit it with our curry sauce. Should yeah. I put it in the oven? Come on, you know yeah, I just wanted to make everyone worry. <laughs> hey! Oh. Look at that! Oh my days. No, let's be real. This is two beautiful classics of food. We've got our chippy tea. Yeah. We've got a cheeseburger vibe going on here. Yeah. But guess what? I got a little sprinkles that goes on mine. So have I, actually. No, come on, don't copy me. We've got the lettuce going on first. Gherkins. You're absolutely mental, mate. This is our mac sauce that we make. Like I can't be in competition with you, Phil. This looks really good. But chippy tea pizza. Well, okay, I'm going to hit it with some curry sauce now. Woo. This looks good. And then we're going to finish it off with some scraps. Look at that, get them scraps all over. Obviously, these are two great pizzas, but it's not up to me and you. No. Pepsi Max have got some local fans down to come and taste the pizzas and let us know which one goes better than the Pepsi Max. I've not bribed anyone. <laughs> Phil, may the best man win. Baby. Don't drop it now, mate. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How you guys doing? You okay? Yeah, very well. You're right. I don't want to influence your decision, but your hair, incredible. <laughs> really like your hat and the colours, mine of the rainbow. All right, can you describe your pizza for the people? Yeah, this is the Mac Daddy. So it's mini beef burgers and lettuce, gherkins, and then our homemade Mac sauce. Over here, we have my chippy tea pizza. It's inspired by the city of Manchester. So we've got a base of mushy peas, fresh chips, cheddar as well, because we like a variation. Scraps, some curry sauce made by me. Get in there. I would say go for his first. That's wow. so good. All right, guys, don't fill yourself up. No. I would say try mine. The way you're holding it is like it's never leaving your hand. Give me a chance. I love that crunch. Are you thinking, is it giving you old school chippy, chippy tea vibes? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about that, but. You're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> Even though it crushes my soul, it's fine. I think it's time for a decision. That, what do you think's about? I'm a burger boy, so I'd go for the McDaddy. Okay, one nil, one nil, yeah, one nil. I think it was a pretty close one, but the scraps on top of the chippy tea just make it superior. Right. One, 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 one. Okay. We're probably going to have to go to a VAR for this one. Okay. Oh my days, bruv. You know what? Well done. Well done. Well done, Phil. Guys, you keep chippy tea in. Yeah. <laughs> maybe next time. You like it, maybe. See you guys later, bye. All in all, how do you think today went, Zoo? You know what? We didn't get the result we wanted. But um, I'm positive for the future. I know that I can learn from the setbacks. You know, the, the opposition, fair play. What you learn is, is that sometimes you feel the pizza man, but someone else's. But don't worry, I'll be back. I'll be back. Stronger, better. If you want to see more of this or that, tune in to see me take on another pizza yolo in another city where they love food and football. Pick your favorite recipe below. Oh! Covered in Pepsi.